If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Hi, Photos photographers. Today we are talking about setting it up, uh, which is using emotion to communicate that fully, properly, clearly in our, our photographs. Now, I'm not suggesting by saying that we communicate emotion properly, you have been doing that wrong. I don't know. I've not seen your photographs, or all of them anyway. I've seen some. But the, the importance here is that we each, in each of our, our images, not become critical of our own work, but that we are able to ask ourselves honestly and answer honestly each question of, am I doing what I intend to do? Am, or am I not doing what I intend to do? How do I fix it? How do I clear it up? How do I make it something that is understood and clear that uh, the viewer of whatever my image turns out to be is going to want to buy whatever is in that image or to buy this image. Um, I'm, I'm actively involved in stock photography. So most of my images, while they may also kind of venture into product photography or other things, my images are designed to draw the viewer of my image to want to buy the image. So um, that's part of a focus and that's part of where I need to be in my photography so that I know how to draw that drive and that intention from my viewer. But I want to start out with a definition. This is a little bit more in depth of a definition than what we had in our breaking it down videos or series of videos. And so it's going to be, um, I'm going to say it's more important in uh, our process as we build it back up and set it up. Emotion is a conscious mental reaction, such as joy, peace, um, uh, kind of an opposite emotion of peace would be fear. Um, usually a, a good fear is going to be, uh, there's not a peace that I have, so I need to avoid something that could cause me danger, harm, or injury. Um, we consider this also a negative emotion of anger. So those reactions, uh, mental reactions, could very well be emotions that you want to convey in your photographs. But they are subjective by experience, and they are strong. They're strong feelings, usually directed toward a specific object or subject, typically, and here's the important part, typically accompanied by physical, and behavioral changes. So that's that's part of what we're trying to communicate here is the physical change in somebody, like we were giving an illustration of breaking it down, somebody's face. And I, I can't make that face without making the sound, so I apologize if that drives anybody off. But also the laugh. How can you not change your voice when your face is lighting up? Um, fear, it, there's a timidity in your voice if you're afraid and you get quiet because you don't know what the fear is either. You don't want something crashing into the view of the camera if something dangerous is on the other side of something. There's, there's an important communication in all parts of facial expression, body language, and the periphery. What else is supporting the, the prior to the facial expression, the body language? If in my body language, I was downcast and always mumbling and monotone, I don't know, maybe I, I try not to do that. I try to be what I feel like is my personality times two so that it, it makes sense to each of you. And you hear the inflection of my voice. You hear that I'm excited about photography. I love talking about photography. I love doing photography. So I really don't want it to be kind of, well, I don't want to watch him. He's not... I don't like watching him. He makes me sad. But setting up emotion in a video is, is really and truly about these three things. The facial expression, the body language, and the supporting things around in the environment of the person that's being imaged. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing your comments, and we thank you for the thumbs like for these videos as they've helped you learn and grow as we continue to learn and grow also. If you're not yet a subscriber, we would love to have you join the
Photos Photography family. Thank you so much.